Uh, we're at the top of the hill, uh, and and you, and you're at the top of your profession. I mean, you're the ultimate actor. He's the ultimate newspaper man. So you know, this is a lucky group, really. Do you feel ultimate? No, I. I Funny you should ask. I'm not feeling <laughs> ultimate today. No, actually, I'm trying to give it up. <laughs> Uh, um, I don't feel ultimate, actually. I mean, I know that I've, I'm doing very well. But you've but got the same thing I talked about with some of you the other day. I mean, you, you don't know where you are, do you, until you see some of Cary Grant's a big star to you, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. It's a strange thing, though. I mean, I, I, to walk into James Stewart's office in uh, Travis and see him sitting there, I mean, I, I just sort of, my mind goes like that. You know? It's all I can do is not ask for his autograph, you know. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a big movie, Buff. You see, I used to go to movies a lot when I was a kid. What was that story you told me about when you first came out here and you asked, you used to carry an autograph book around them? And yes. your agent said, for God's sake, don't do it. Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Through a party for me. When I first came out here, and uh, they'd all seen I'm All Right Jack or something about like And, uh, you know, knew from England. Everyone knew, you know. So they threw parties for you, and everybody was there. I was seeing people I, I'd only seen on the screen. I thought, oh my God. So I, I figured I'm taking my autograph, but which I had in my pocket. And um, I went up to Freddie Fields and I said, you know, is it okay to, I'm um, sure it be all right just to say, you know, get autographs because I don't see these people very often. You know, he says, listen, you're going to save the rest of your life. But you don't worry about him, him or him. They're all young. Down for Christ, I asked for the autograph. <laughs> That's the worst thing you can do. But I mean, it was amazing. My son, actually, who was with me, was quite young then. Didn't wasn't interested in the film stars. Only interested in the TV <laughs> people he'd seen on uh, of course. TV in England. Yeah. You see, I've known Rod, you know, a long time. You know, when he was writing for the Liverpool Echo and I was living in Penny Lane, I never had any idea that we're going to end up out here, you know. Like, you know, I, I like this Hollywood game, you know, it's good. It's, uh, don't you? I mean, you know, I think it's like uh, George Harrison said, oh, all apples must fall. And uh, Apple did, you know. <laughs> but uh, I think it's all right as long as you don't get too mixed up with it, Alan. You know, that's the whole point. Yes, we have right. a mutual friend who's been here years, came from Bristol originally. And uh, we've known him a long time, too. He sort of settled down and retired as Kerry Grant. Have you, have you done an interview with him? No, I haven't, no. Oh, yeah, we both do impersonations. Of no, I do a very bad impersonation. He <laughs> does a very good impersonation. No, no, yours is very good. No, yours is better than mine. No, listen. Yes, you do Cary Grant better than I do. I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Howdy, <laughs> darn, twiddly, dee. I'm a man who has everything, my darling. I only want to share some of it with you. Yes. <laughs> He's on the him. road, you know, Alan. Yeah. He'd do an interview like Harry this. Open like the anymore. shutter and bang away. <laughs> <laughs> Open the shutter and bang away. Well, he doesn't talk like that anymore. Isn't this like he, he never said Judy, Judy, no, Judy either, did he? He never, he never did. did. Actually, he never it's did. like played against Sam. I mean, it's yeah. to become more real. But one feels to live in Switzerland, Peter. You need the nerve removed. The what? You need the nerve removed. No, no, no. I think that if you spend, uh, for me anyway, if you spend, uh, say, two months in the summer, as I, I said before, and two months, say, in the winter, the maximum, then Switzerland is absolutely beautiful. It's certainly the part I've picked. You know, I have a neighbor there, Yehudi Menuhin, and uh, who lives, you know, most of the time in England, and uh, the rest of the time out there, he also does yoga. And uh, it's marvelous to see him in his garden, standing on his head, playing with Trader Bears in the Tchaikovsky uh, violin concerto, and, uh, which he does frequently. And he breaks a lot of Strader Bears that way. He's very rich, of course. And that's one of the things I went there for. I wanted to see that. You want to see the Stradivarius is littering the lawn? Yes, well, when you've seen one Stradivarius, you've seen them all, anyway. <laughs> I'm so sorry, folks. I'm with the show. <clears throat> What, what, apart from the sound of cracking Stradivari, eh, what, uh, what other compensation? That's very good. Very, very good. Very good. Stradivari, yeah.